call today's meeting of the Board of Ethics uh, to order. Uh, Mr. Clerk. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kelly. Here. Uh, Mr. Burgess. Yes. Here. Mr. Silver. Here. Ms. Phillips. Here. And Deannis is also in attendance. Uh, Ms. Flannery is an excused absence. We have a quorum. All right, very good. So the first order of business is uh, meetings from our minutes from our previous two meetings. So if everyone could take a look at the minutes from the 317 and the 416. Why don't we start with the 317? You, you can't come if you weren't out either one. <laughs> I have a sense. I have a sense of what happened. <laughs> There's nothing about the bylaws that prevent me from commenting nonetheless. Uh, did you There's something more? I yeah, you gotta pass them on. I was, I was say, say, well, I have I was, a I was like, this is a very long meeting you guys <laughs> had. The minutes are like ten pages long. Do you already have a meeting? This one I get in my Really important. Seven sheets. Apparently, <laughs> 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 I don't think so. I'm tired of these people following me. I'm just going to I have all the emails. Only after I'm dead do I follow the emails. I know her. And it's, it's actually <laughs> it's actually appropriate that she's part of the cemetery advisory board. <laughs> <laughs> I taught. I knew I used to audit. She used to work down at Denali Fuel. Do you need a motion on the <laughs> minutes? Oh, does anyone have any corrections they'd like to add to the minutes for uh, three seventeen? Hearing no corrections, uh, do we have a motion to approve those minutes? I move that we approve the minutes of meeting three uh, three seventeen two thousand eleven. Seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, let's take a look at the minutes for 4-6-2011. Uh, it was a very short meeting. Any comments or uh, additions? Do we have a motion to approve those minutes? I move. Second. Seconded. All in favor, aye. Uh, aye. aye. Opposed, nay. All right, persons to be heard. No one today. Special orders, no special orders. So let's move on to old business. Notice of potential violation 2011-1. That's old business? Uh, ex That's the thing excuse is, is me, that before we move too mm -hmm. far, Dr. Kelly, don't we have a person to be heard? I thought a teacher was going to be showing. Yeah, she I don't know that she could make it today. She wasn't able to make it. Okay. Now that's old business. Uh, isn't 2011 one new business? I think that's new business, right? Yeah. Well, we we looked at it first. Isn't this the one with? Okay. No. And I advise you not to use names because we're on. Uh, is this no? Uh, is, which one is this? 2000. It was one. distributed before your last. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. I believe it was the old business. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But well, we didn't yeah. talk about this in our this last. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So last time, perhaps we only dealt with that one issue last time. We have spoken, but we wanted to have. Oh, so why don't we move into executive session okay. before we accidentally begin talking? Dr. About Dr. Kelly, I move that we move into executive session to discuss uh, uh, 2011 dash one. Do have a second. Second. All, right. All those in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Thank you, Madam Clerk. So let's move on to a request for advisory opinion 2011 1. Um, and that's this I, one. Yes. Mr. Chairman, I've, I've read 2011 1 and 2, and we've both, as discussed, we've, uh, we've, um, have answered this question with an answer to um, Assemblyman Flynn here very recently. And we could potentially answer this by sending our answer that we sent to Mr. Flynn back to them. 
I agree. In the, in the past, we have uh, rem just simply reminded assembly members that as far as the conflicts of interest on assembly business goes, the assembly is self-policing. It is the assembly that, des that decides if a member has a conflict of interest such that they cannot participate in the matter. That's what we've done in, in, in the past, and I don't necessarily see a reason to deviate from that from that past practice. I'm sorry. Is there copies of this? I, I don't have them in my pocket. Either um, yeah. I don't remember doing this. I, I read it, but it's. Um, I this was. Yeah. Watch for the wire. Two. One oh. from training and one from. Yeah, I read it on last night yeah, on the online. Training and the other okay. one from Harriet Drummond. Oh, I didn't tell, think I saw that one. I came in an email yesterday or day before. So basically, the same thing. thing. They just need to disclose to each other, and then the, the rest of the board decides as to whether or not they should be able to participate in that particular. If only I had gathered somewhere all of these opinions from the past, easily <laughs> <laughs> and conveniently made reference to it. <laughs> if only. Go for it. There's an extra one here too. If you need, I want to look at it too. No, Kurt just printed that one. Yeah, I didn't either. That's why it threw me. Here, I don't. Here, you get one there. I, I read them. Do they yeah, need one? No. Well, if I can request some help from the ethics board, actually, Harriet uh, did uh, uh, contact me on this issue. I did. Did advise her to uh, that I thought that, that the assembly was more appropriate, although the ethics board was available um, uh, because they they really have the wisdom to make that kind of conflict of interest decision. I will say that I um, and I think this is, this may be an issue that the board could address is whether withdrawing her name. Well, I guess that's still the same. Withdrawing her name from a, having signed a letter of protest, whether that really cures the the potential conflict. But I suppose, suppose the assembly could make that same decision. In other words, she she signed the protest. One, who decides whether that's a conflict? But number two, if she if she undoes that, does that help? Um, but then third, then she had really sort of additional questions, which might be very helpful if the board um, can help give me some input. And that was um, uh, if the board, if the assembly decides I have a conflict because I signed this protest, can I then go to the other side and go with my neighbors and talk about this? And I, I just, I think for the board, it would be interesting to know there's a code session on this that, um, but but it, the board had very strong opinions about the related issues versus it in relationship to all this. Um, the talks about um, uh, elected official may not appear before the body unless the elected official, let's see, where is it, uh, has an ownership interest in the matter before the public body. So she oh, she has she a neighboring can't property. A, right. She can't represent this other group because she's an elected official. Well, no. It, what, what's sort of interesting is if uh, does she have the option to number one? Let's say she discloses it to the assembly, and the assembly says no. We think there's a conflict. Now, can she go around to the other side with her neighbors and uh, uh, under this provision go ahead and advocate for it? Uh, I would think so. Um, because she has an ownership interest. Uh, and, and what I'm referring you all to is there are, you know, the limitations on elected officials' um, uh, appearance on behalf of a private interest. And no, no, you can't, 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 except if you have an ownership interest in the matter before the public body. Um, 
So I guess what what are her options? One is is disclosure to the assembly, uh, which I also recommended, rather than this board. Um, certainly, you have the power to make that decision. I mean, if someone requests that decision, yeah, that's certainly what we've done in the past. At any Say that you think we, it we could, You're absolutely right. I mean, you know, I, I think well, we we're can only render an opinion. We can't give her. We can't say she she has to step out of her position. No, but I just I would like some of your input on that. That's right. Okay. I mean, I mean, you could I'm think of one of two ways. I mean, like she's she's asked us, and, and, and what we could have thought of some of these past cases was, well, it's up to the assembly to decide. But let's give her her our two cents, mm -hmm. and maybe she can take that to the assembly and say, hey, I ran this kind of board ethics, and here's what they exactly to think, and that might influence their deliberations. In past cases, we decided not to do that. Okay, and, and that's just fine. Well, the last no, we don't have to do that. I don't think, I don't think we're absolutely bad. The last this, this one is a slightly <laughs> different situation because because someone training was, excuse me, Flynn, was not asking if he could come back out and testify uh, as, as the owner of the building that he owned. Well, that's right. he, was, he was only asking can he potentially vote on the neighborhood commission like, funding, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that's what we said. Well, you need to ask the rest of your assembly. This is what we. The code allows. If the code allows, if if she's excused from deliberation on this particular issue, the code, if the code allows her to step around and, and to to uh, to testify as an ownership interest in. I understand that. I don't have an issue. Like that. Oh, but I mean, was that in her request, though? No, it I wasn't. No, so no, I thought wasn't. the request was just about. The no, I'm just saying that. Problem. I, I, and well, in which case, it looks just know. like Flynn. And, and as a matter okay. of fairness, since we didn't tell, we didn't give our two cents to Flynn, unless people think that we should change as a matter of policy, which I'm more than fine to do so. But unless people have a burning sense that we should change our policy on this, I'm inclined to tell her the same thing that if I pretty much reproduced a letter and say that this is actually for the assembly to decide whether your your interest is substantial enough to preclude you from participating in the matter as an assembly person. But we're always you know, if, we wanted, if, we, if we wanted to change our mind we could always say, hey, here's here's what we happen to think about your particular case. Now, wouldn't it kind of depend on what the uh, what the makeup of the assembly is as to how they're gonna vote and how she if they think she her her position is already taken. She's already signed. Mm -hmm. Her private position. Your private position. Um, they have to decide whether she can uh, hold her public the public interest above her private interest. And I would assume when she makes the disclosure, she would represent that she believes she can do that. It's coming up the assembly in May. It doesn't say no, specifically it's when. Coming up this week, I think, the our next meeting on the 26th, I believe. It could be postponed, but I'm not sure. Well, the letter it. says, you know, they will, they they, they will 19th says it's coming up in May. It doesn't oh, okay. say specifically. That's the hearing, maybe. This introduction on the 26th. I'm the letter. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, there I thought There's an issue coming for the assembly in January. May for the public hearing and the renaming of the street that I lived on. Oh, that and I have attached that. Changing the well. name of a street. I mean, I think a lot of it depends on the what's happening to, or what the conflict is about. And this one is relatively. Well, tell me, if you're going to rename a street, is this routine practice to mm -hmm. to uh, do a vote thing? Apparently, there's a yeah, whole procedure in the code for doing it. Okay, and the, and the majority <coughs> voted. So it came. So it came before. It's coming before the assembly. So it, it's flowing through its normal process. Does, does the assembly Absolutely. ratify then? Yes. What the people have voted. They. Yeah, that's the question. They, yeah, it comes before the assembly, and they make a determination whether it's a go or no go on the name. And, and I didn't look at this code section, but apparently uh, it sounds like there's a protest procedure. I'm not sure if the pro protest procedure is part of the code or simply this group got together and protested. 
um, how it was done. There's some procedural questions. But everybody's notified. Mm -hmm. Everybody's on the street is notified by mail. And they're given a, a oh, in that notification, are they, they told that if, to if you don't agree with this, then yeah. you should go to the assembly and speak your mind? No, they, they report back to the person who sent them the letter, which is mm -hmm. public work someplace. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, there's a whole procedure. I don't know. And that's been followed? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure. That's not some of the issue here, whether the procedure was followed correctly. Who doesn't talk about a violation procedure in in, in the letter in that the she protest. endorsed? Protest letter. Oh, it's not much over. Hillcrest Circle, Oh, Jesus! Yeah. all over town like that. Mm -hmm. Well. And I mean, they were going to get really picky. There wouldn't be three different spellings of my street name on the MySpace alone. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what street sign you read. <laughs> but now, but they've managed to spell it. Yeah, but they spelled it three different ways on three different signs down the road. <laughs> See, there, there were. Well, there make sure they catch them all. <laughs> there is an allegation. There were a number of mistakes and misunderstandings made during the process that makes the process. Process That's suspect here. and the revolts. That's on the protest. So they are they are questioning the process. We run the process. There were a number of mistakes and misunderstandings still the process. Hmm. No, I think in fact to be perfectly honest, there seems to be all of the reason why they should just be left in the assembly square. Yeah. She's there, she can tell her side. Uh, otherwise, I think Bernie don't want to support her. We need more than her letter. I think we have to bring her in and, and find out what I think for all sorts of reasons. It, the, the code makes it the assembly's area of jurisdiction for this part of the code. Um, I think for good reason that determination should be made there where she can give her side of the story and the assembly can ask her all sorts of questions about it and then Make well, in the assembly, okay. after they interview, the people could always send it back to be re put through their process. Mm -hmm. If there was mistakes, which may well happen, yeah, well, I think that'd be the right way to go. Yeah, I, again, okay. I, that, that's the way I'm inclined. I'm inclined to think about it because certainly I don't think we have. I think you're right. That already, I'm feeling like we don't have enough details just from this letter to make an informed opinion about whether she really has a substantial conflict or not. And the assembly can ask those questions well, in a right. timely yeah, fashion. Right. And I think it's not that the ethics board doesn't have jurisdiction, but that you decline to exercise it in this particular matter. I mean, well, I guess, but this is you know this is the one where you know what was our code, what was our phrasing in the other well, what the code says is what the well I think it says we the jurisdiction of the board to determine a violation under this chapter by an elected official for participation in a matter after a disclosure of financial or private interest is expressly limited to the sufficiency of the disclosure. In other words, the only thing that we're allowed to later, in other words, an assembly person could later file a notice of potential violation saying when Drummond disclosed the situation, she didn't tell us the whole truth and we let her vote on it, but we really didn't know that. And in other words, we're only allowed to evaluate the quality of the disclosure. Whether she has a substantial interest. Can you tell me the code section? Yeah, there? we're looking at uh, 1535C. Isn't there another section that says that ethics, you know, that they are to refer to their. I thought there was, I'm sure there was something in here that would refer to their own members. Dr. Kelly, I think what this is about was that we can't second guess. That once right. the, once, the, that's really that versus yeah. if they come here first. I don't think it doesn't preclude jurisdiction. This is only second guessing. Once that disclosed, once the assembly has ruled, the ethics board can't come back in. Yeah, that's right. That's so right. it's a second guess. Yeah, that's so right. I think we do probably have jurisdiction but that you are going to decline to exercise it for many very good reasons. All right. All right. 
at least that's what we've done in the past. And yeah. At least that's you know the way we've thought about this in this section. Of this. In fact, this C is what we cited in the Flynn case. Mm -hmm. And again, I you know that was just yeah. And I've been there just, when so you know, when whoever stands up and says you know if I have a conflict, disclose the conflict, and they still vote to let the person participate. Yeah. Well, the other thing is that the members of the public get to hear that discussion. And I think that's important that it's not just our decisions. It's on the record. It's, it's on the record. They can ask questions. Well, not the public, but you know, they can hear right. the, the, the discussion. Because where the issue is, if they don't disclose it publicly like that, then and then still vote. Then, they're, then, then there's a problem. Then, then there's a problem with the disclosure is insufficient in some sort of critical way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then that's where you might have a, a, a violation of the code that we could mm -hmm. address. So, uh, do we have a motion then to uh, address uh, request for advisory opinion 2011-1? Uh, do we have a motion to uh, draft a letter along lines along the lines of the uh, Flynn letter that we sent out last year? Saying that this is essentially a matter for uh, for the assembly to determine. So moved. As a second. second. Any discussion? Are people happy with this? Well, I have a couple. Of, I'm so. I'm trying to understand why she signed the petition, and then came and asked about whether that was a conflict of interest to vote. Because she's. I would have thought. Would seem to me should ask before having signed the letter. I guess I don't understand the sequencing. Of how well, it looks like she. It looks like she's. Someone brought this petition to her. She signed, signed it, it, and now and she's now, having. And now that the issue is coming to, to the, the assembly, assembly, she realizes she's now worried. Oh uh, wait a minute! I signed that petition. Uh, I wonder if she probably thought it was harmless when she signed it. And, and now it's really oh, wait, it's percolating to a much higher level. That's right. Mm -hmm. And maybe, and, and also maybe she's concerned that she will be precluded by the assembly from participating. And she's hopeful that maybe she can come with a letter from us saying, it's okay, there's no serious conflict here. Mm -hmm. You point out that the 2011-1, this was a matter that already came before the assembly. This uh, Mr. Trainee's status as a veteran Oh gosh, yes. I'm sorry. We've we've started talking well, that about was two, two by accident, yeah. right? So, yeah. So, so yeah. The, so I'm sorry. I, one I thought this had already. I think this is a, a different. A one. different one. I think this the, hasn't come. Right. Oh, okay. This veterans is preference, preference state preference contract. State okay, yeah. so it hasn't come before. Yeah. Okay, I'm not so confused now. Excellent. <laughs> 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 so. Uh, so why don't we quash that motion altogether because it was totally malformed, well, okay. and uh, we'll do this in the order. So, so do we have a motion about? Well, let's switch our focus to 2011-1. Does everyone feel that this is basically an analogous issue? This is trainee. He's a veteran. He wants to be able to talk about an ordinance involving the status of uh, veterans. I think this is. The same thing. I think this is for the assembly. You know, and I have to say, I think the assembly would just love. Just, can you just tell us yes or no? Because they have to use this huge disclosure at the assembly, time-consuming. If they don't do it just right, the attorneys jump in and say this wasn't right. If they redo it again, okay, can't you guys say yes or no to this? Can I say <laughs> that again? I'm just telling. I think that's what. Oh yeah, well, absolutely but, right. I mean. But you can see why in the, two, in the second one, 2011 why you don't want to intervene in that's the area right, of right. That's right. Because the last time a veteran's uh, was a tax um, exemption came up, he, I mean, he almost read this type of thing to the Oh, assembly. the, uh, if you're 100% the widow's exemption. Yes, my mother would have been impacted if she were 15 years younger, she actually lost a lot of tax money because mm -hmm. of that, that old provision. My father passed away when she was 50. Mm -hmm. 
she could not file for that exemption until she turned 65. Even though he was 100% disabled when he passed away. Well, I guess on the other question, are there any situations where the board would not, maybe that's too far, would not decline to exercise their jurisdiction? Um, and maybe not, then, General, this is a, a assembly matter. That's at least the way we've looked at it in the past. I mean, I suppose if there were a case of where it seemed really egregious, maybe yeah, we, would, we would step forward. But I'm all for using the same letter. So you want to make the motion? Okay, do we have a motion to that effect? I move that. Um, to the advisory opinion 2011-1 uh, be responded to in a letter similar to advisory opinion 2010-6. Do we have a second? Seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion passes. Moving on to 2000, uh, request for advisory 2011-2. Do we have a similar motion? To revisit my opinion, what she said just with the numbers changed to 2011-2. <laughs> Do we have a second to what she just said? Second. <laughs> well, I discussion? know that's not how the minutes are going to say. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> what she said. <laughs> That's a catchy phrase, what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. Well, I, the minutes are on the and then while using the least amount of energy possible, the motion was made. <laughs> any, any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion passes as well. Very good. So let's look at our agenda then. Um, I'll get disclosure for one. Let's review our disclosure. Yeah. Is this yours? No, I have two open. No, mine's right here. I don't know. Um, I looked in the disclosure forms and I flagged a couple of things. Did you flag the one for school? I just had it. <laughs> Is it on the back of this one? No. Was it the hundred dollars in cash from someone's grandma? Yeah. Yes, I saw well, that. That was one I flagged. It's always well. We're set, but we're sending that letter out at what level did we decide? Um, in it was it seventy five or hundred? Do we have? Any? I think we weren't sure. We As I recall, we didn't set a number. We said we were going to review. We were going to be contextual about it. And the totality yeah. of the circumstances for each individual well, case. I think you said 100 was a given, and it was whether I mean, it was 50 was the. Well, 50 uh, we, is we, we, we started off with 50, and then we went to 100, but I think we settled actually back in the code at 50. But do we don't have notes on that, do we, anywhere? We have to go listen to our tape. Well, you can revisit the issue right yeah, now. Yeah, we can always, yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of. Well, if the code says 50, Code says 50 is presumed okay. good, presumed yeah. okay, not that, but not that it's presumed bad. And then, but and then the the, the, the stuff was idea that those gifts that are okay, but that are over 50, need to be disclosed. Mm -hmm. And so that has always given us the sense that that statement implies that there are at least it is at least possible to receive a gift for more than 50 dollars. That is in fact okay by the code. Otherwise, you wouldn't need the disclosure requirement. You would just simply say, you may not receive a gift over $50. So uh, the question is sort of like how far beyond and in what, and that's why I've suggested being contextual about it because the, the totality of circumstances may suggest that a reasonable person could infer that the person's impartiality is being affected or the appearance of such 
is present in the case. You know, so I think with the one involving bike helmets, right, if someone gets money from a bike Well, what's one person going helmets, to do with that's with with getting bike bike <laughs> Yeah, I think it's different from getting $100 in cash from grandma, right? I mean, that's... Yeah, I saw the helmets. I said, oh, they got a club in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. And that's why and I, the that's PTA what you one if, side you know, if we set a number, a then I think we're going to get entangled with these kind of cases where we say, oh, we said 100 or $150. This is 415 Now we've got a problem. Well, but when we look at this bag in person, $150 or yeah. $200. I believe this one should be sent a letter to you, though. Which one? The bag and purse. Janice Strickland? Yes, bag and purse, yep. Yes. The two that I had pulled yes. were the bag and purse and the cash for $100. <laughs> I didn't have a problem with 75 for school mm. supplies. That, that's a problem. Yeah, I mean, like this one, $25 Starbucks card. Why can't people do that, right? I mean, yeah. that's a perfectly appropriate and that one even didn't even need to that be That didn't even need to be disclosed, right? I mean, it's just... That's Strickland. This was the gift from a mother of a private tutoring student that she has. Not from an ASD student. Then why are we even... Do we have a disclosure? Well, I guess as John oh, Ashcroft caution. used to say, an abundance of caution. Oh, okay. Well, then... What was the trip to Seattle? That was that Carol was Cuomo. Carol Cuomo and this Providence paid for her trip to go there and back. It's not like she's personally. She's a board member. Okay, so back to the well, wait. Still, she's a board member of Providence, yeah. and, and that's why they did it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. They she they paid for all the board members, right, or whatever. Yeah. For training. Yeah. Okay. And Dr. Kelly, I thought that the board had decided in terms of contextual that if um, if it was from a group that that, that was sort of a safe harbor. Yes. Did, didn't we put that in? Did you put that in your letter? I can't remember that if it was from a group, it was sort of a safe harbor. That it was. That was only when it was individual. Here's uh, a dictionary. Yeah, okay. you know, either you know, individual Oops. or uh, we can let him in that close. Or if we're talking about a group, maybe a. Sp you know, it's, it, I, I can't remember if we had hard line code because, it, again, because I know we had concern about a very small group, like it was like one or two, two small, or it was two or three parents. Mm -hmm. That could also be yeah. well, a, a formally organized group, you know, PTA or something like that. Well, our our guest has arrived, so if, if no one has your guest, why don't we uh, <laughs> why don't we uh, table this motion and uh, and pick it up later, uh, we'll untable it later. And any objections to tabling the uh, review of these disclosures? No. Hearing no. no objections, it is tabled. We'll pick it up later. Um, and uh, I imagine we go back into uh, executive session, correct? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, discussion here. So, mm -hmm. uh, do we have uh, any objection to moving into executive session? Hearing no objections, we move the board will. And uh, I move that we untable the review of the disclosure forms. Any objection to uh, resuming the review of the disclosure forms? Hearing no objection, they are untabled, and we can continue our discussion of that review. Well, Mr. Chair, of the disclosure forms in front of us, there are only two that I felt um, Drew enough question to to send um, our school letter to. Okay. That being the um, bag purse, um, Janice Strickland. Okay. And the hundred dollar cash for Becky Paul. From Grandpa or Grandma? Yeah. Grandparents. Grandparents. Even though Strickland was not. Okay. Well, and that's and that's where I'm this? trying to figure well, out. On the side. Those were the two I pulled for discussion, anyway. From whom I teach French. But she says daughter. it's a mother of a student. Yeah, she says, I don't see where, I, I don't get the, um, where you're saying she's a, a tutor. The daughter. Attended Grace. Attends Grace Chris Christian, no, where they don't have French. Well, but you can attend more than one school, apparently. I know because some of these kids are attending 
they'll attend a charter school and then they'll go to another one, another school to get a course that the, the class doesn't teach, or uh, do the or do the athletics in another school. I don't know if she's. Uh, my gut feeling is she's. Would you like me to follow up with uh, Janice Strickland and find out a little bit more about the relationship <coughs> or uh, the details of the situation? Well, the letter is an advisory letter, right? You know, these folks, you really aren't, you're only supposed to be giving, you know, acceptable 50 bucks and, you know. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't matter. It's still an Anchorage school. Well, I guess Grace Christian's a private school, though. So they might not have. So they're not, if they're, they wouldn't necessarily then be a city employee. Mm -hmm. So they're filling out this form. Well, she's a, but she. Wait a minute. She, she, she attends, she's a teacher at East. English and French teacher at East. And that. And what it says at the top. Mm-hmm. Is she tutoring this young lady this is for tutoring, tutoring the French, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. And, I, I and is she being paid separately for that? I, I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe you're right that she's actually going to East. Maybe it's the question needs to be asked. So I don't. Because uh, I don't That's see where it says. Granted, she's helped this kid out for three and a half years, and if she had split it at fifty dollars a year, nobody would have said anything. <laughs> um, There's also, well, oh, yeah. So, uh, so would people like me to contact? I see, to yeah, find I out more that details if this was a private, yeah, because I, I, I agree. If it's if this if she means student in the sense of private tutor, then she's not receiving the gift in her status as an ASD employee. I think and, the, and then I would say, then we don't need to send her the letter that's right. If the student is, or if it is a student of ASD, then I. I suggest we send her the letter. Okay, very good. I will. I will follow up with her then, and find out those details, and then you had one that you wanted to uh, well, pull I think as well. It's, did it's you want another to one. The, uh, it's the same. Did you want to pull Grandma's cash? It's, it's the same <laughs> one. That, that, I'm yes. sorry, Becky I Paul. <laughs> I mean, it was the same one that Paul the uh, ethics board member Phillips had. Becky Paul. So do we have a uh, do we have a motion for uh, for the chair to send Becky Paul the uh, teacher gift letter? So moved. Second. Second. Discussion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. All right. Motion passes. Okay. That is the end of our business. Actually, Mr. Chairman, if I if I can beg your indulgence, we have. It was supposed to be on the agenda, according to Chair, uh, to according to Marissa. And we have the copies of the reports back over here that um, Marissa authored the 2009 one, along with the young man, Shalem. Shalem. And then I've been working along with Shalem on 2010 when they're back here. Mm -hmm. I would request it get distributed and then people, if they would, please email me with their suggested changes. That sounds good, yeah. And should we put this issue on the, uh, and the if next you need, agenda? And if you need it electronically, if it's easier for you electronically, I will distribute electronically. You mean put a discussion of it on the next? Cause I well, it, it should have been on this agenda. Well, well, yeah. why, why can't we just... You're asking to just distribute it today. Well, I think you need some time to read I don't think oh, we are, we're, yeah. we're, not, we're not allowed to add substantive issues to the agenda, are we? 
Well, we have one of them. Oh, it's not a big issue. It's a report. Did we, we haven't discussed this, have we? Um, Maryland Porter? Yeah. It's a disclosure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was part but of disclosures. Have, don't we have to accept it? Or just review oh, it? Oh, I and thought we did. Yeah. Did we? Well, I guess, yeah, I guess we hadn't made a motion to actually accept the rest of them, so... Are you making a motion to accept the rest yes, of them? Yes, I am. I move that we accept the disclosures with the exception of the two that you've called out for uh, contact. Okay, very good. Do we have a second for that? Second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no? Okay, very good. Uh, yes, and now Mario, let's at least distribute these, right? And I think that's a good idea. Then people can read. Do we can put that on uh, our agenda? Yeah, Mark, can we definitely make sure that's sure. on the next agenda? Uh, anything this way we can approve yeah, them, and one hopefully we'll be done the kind of drafting process. One of the process. things that, just as a point of discussion, I don't want to make this go too late. You know, especially with respect, I have a relatively heavy concentration with respect to the school district on this one, and I wasn't able to get. I asked Shalem for that Excel file that had all the information. So there's like a fact in there that's really not fact yet because I, I said, well, only 10% of the school is disclosed. Well, I don't have the actual information in front of me to, say, to know that it's 10% or 9 or 8 or, or 15. So yeah, there's, that's a figure that you know, needs to be changed. The clerk's office asked for that from law yesterday and we forwarded it on over. But that's also something I'd be glad to forward uh, I'd appreciate it because then I could, I could put in the actual thing. So well, it might give you more information to the whole right. spreadsheet. Well, Keith, thanks for doing the work. Well, it, it wasn't that much, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, you know, my full time job is actually wanting me to work full time. And I'm the boss, and he's a bastard, so. <laughs> <laughs> I keep myself working too hard. And then we go like, I gotta break loose and do this thing because otherwise Marissa and you guys are gonna beat me about the head and shoulders. Um, but I will f you get the written part and I'll, I will forward to you the electronic. Excellent. Because I have everybody's email address from the email you sent today. Yeah. So I'm cute. All right. Spreadsheet to you as well. Looking forward to reading it. it I, I think. It needs some embellishment with respect to some of the things I'm saying. And then what happened with you? What what part of the code banned your participation? Is this something that was discussed and approved by the board, or is this? No, Marissa uh, met, discussed that at one point that um, when I was asking questions from someone that, um, uh, and there is a code section I'd have to find it that says something about that questions can only be asked through board members. But again, I don't think the intent of that was to preclude your attorney. I think that the intent of that was to pre that it can't be other people can't ask questions. But it, it, it was, well, in fact, right. very difficult indeed to sit here and say, <laughs> well, no, oh, and, I I well, and again, certainly our past I thought practice you has been. I thought you handled it well. Yeah. <laughs> our past practice has been to have participation from the board's attorney. So. Mm -hmm. We'll have to. This might be I think something. we should. We should explore it because Let's put that on the I like we can make sure that's on the next agenda too. A, you a know, discussion the, about the other thing we might look at uh, something that came up was uh, a uh, uh, the past uh, matter that we found that there was no violation. Um, uh, Marissa wrote an opinion and wanted to, uh, to forward that to the. the she remembers she will send around a. a and when I looked at the code, it seems to me that there should just be a confidential statement of closures, what the code requires. Oh, okay. And I, I, I think Marissa still wants to send Thanks. that opinion, and I think I, I didn't want to just do that at this point um, without Thanks. further discussion. Okay. By, by statement of closure, mean something it, like based on uh, the facts It presented. says what it is. It says that you just have the names, the allegations, the data is heard, and no violation found. No violation you found. don't have a two-page opinion, um, and you can see why. Um, it's an absolute confidentiality issue mm -hmm. for the, if there is no violation, Get it's done. About it. okay. And I, I think also, I, my opinion is that includes the executive session tapes. So it gives us a little bit more, so that uh, someone can't later on come in and say, oh, well, there are these allegations. Um, right. 
So I mean, even that, that closure statement is confidential. That's not a so, spell draft. Barbara, maybe I can get with you. I didn't do that. It was, it's, uh, it's a very different way. than yeah, a draft uh, and uh, like an advisory <laughs> opinion where you. Yeah, they, they were having fun. Constant they don't curse up anything to do. Right. But it's they changed the template. Be, if there is no violation, <laughs> it's confidential. Yeah, it looks like the computer got confused. No, I, 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 I teased um, Shadow about that. He says, you know, well, we, it's not like we, have, we don't have enough to do, so we, we, we fiddled with the draft. Operation, yeah. Operation RF. No, it, it comes out this way, and one of the different times it's added. It's, yeah, D A T uh, yeah. whatever. Um, and I'm, I need to speak with, I keep forgetting her name. And I asked you about it. who was the lady who did that training for us. I'm sorry, Julia. Oh, Julia Tucker. I need to talk with her because there was something she brought up at that training that I just I've gone through this back and forth, back and forth. And she said, I really think think you should put this in a report. And I agreed and then I can't find it. Um, well, I, I think we can have access to her one person, you know, ask her a question yeah. outside of the meeting. So well, that's what I was intending. I wasn't going to make it a public yeah, meeting. Yeah, just, just uh, give her a call. Okay. All right, very good. So we'll put the, the closure form discussion yeah, on the agenda, too. Yeah, we'll to that. Uh, going to be a doozy this next meeting, so everyone bring snacks. Members' comments? Any, uh, any comments? Anything anyone wants to share? I, I'm going to ask a question. <laughs> well, I had done that you wanted the role of the board attorney, but you want the closure statement? As, as well as this, 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 we'll have yeah, a discussion. So just a discussion I'll clarify for the board the, the role. Code requirements of uh, finding of no potential violation. That's just an official statement. That was what kind of it's a yeah. I, I can ex explain it to the to the board and discuss it. Uh, but when Marissa as another attorney came to a different conclusion, I think we should look at that. I don't want to just put it out. Very good. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. Second. Any objection? No objection? No objection. We hereby adjourn. See everyone no, next month.